pyroquinolone quinone, or PQQ, is an interesting vitamin-like compound, and it plays a critical role in the function of the mitochondria, which are the energy-producing compartment within our cells. It's also required as a necessary cofactor for a special class of enzymes that are involved in cellular function, including those that are involved in cellular growth, development, differentiation and survival. The term cofactor means in order for these enzymes to perform their role in building cellular compounds, the PQQ has to be available. If it's not, the enzyme can't function. This meets the definition of an essential vitamin, since PQQ cannot be produced in the body, so we must ingest it from food or take it as a dietary supplement. Although PQQ is essential for proper cellular function and good health, it's not currently viewed as a vitamin. One key action of PQQ involves its direct action on key enzymes involved in energy production within the mitochondria. As a result, the PQQ improves energy production. It works with coenzyme Q10, a well-known compound that's also critical to mitochondrial function. What makes the PQQ more important than the CoQ10 is our cells can produce CoQ10, but they can't produce PQQ. CoQ10 acts like a spark in energy production. PQQ's action is different. It serves a complementary role to the CoQ10 in energy production. It's also a key protector of the mitochondria against oxidative damage and also promotes the spontaneous generation of new mitochondria within aging cells, a process that's known as mitochondrial biogenesis. This action makes PQQ an exciting anti-aging strategy. By increasing the number of mitochondria within the aging cells, the PQQ acts as a biochemical fountain of youth because more mitochondria means more chemical energy is available. While both CoQ10 and PQQ are effective on their own, when they're combined, there's even better results. The synergistic effect was first seen in animal studies and further has been demonstrated in human double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trials. PQQ is an extremely powerful antioxidant and it possesses additional unique benefits. Each time an antioxidant protects against oxidative damage, it's called a catalytic cycle. PQQ is unique as it's capable of producing near-continuous catalytic cycling to a much greater degree compared to other antioxidants. For example, PQQ is able to carry out around 20,000 catalytic conversions compared with only four for vitamin C. This means the functional antioxidant protection provided by PQQ is 5,000 times that of vitamin C. PQQ has been found in all plants analysed to date, but in very low quantities. PQQ-rich foods include parsley, green peppers, kiwi fruit, papaya and tofu. These foods contain about 2 to 3 micrograms per serving. Green tea provides about the same amount in a 4 ounce serving. Based on the current research, there's no question that it plays a critical role in human nutrition. When the PQQ is emitted from chemically defined diets in mammals, it leads to growth impairment, compromised immune systems and abnormal reproductive function. Like essential nutrients, the immune system seems particularly sensitive to low levels of PQQ. With PQQ deprivation, there's multiple defects in immune function and loss of white blood cells to respond properly. The nutritional requirements of PQQ are probably in line with folic acid or biotin in terms of humans needing micrograms per day versus milligrams. The exact amount required is not yet known, but it's probably in the range of 10 to 20 micrograms per day. Supplementation at levels much greater than this, such as 10 to 20 milligrams per day, has produced considerable benefits. At higher doses, the PQQ produces superphysiological effects. In other words, it's helping our mitochondria and cells to function beyond its effect as a nutrient. Given the nutritional importance and the tremendous span of physiological effects of the PQQ, there's considerable benefits in conditions that revolve around low mitochondrial function, including aging, 
many brain and neurological diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and many other chronic degenerative diseases. Another pharmacological action of PQQ is it activates the AMPK, an enzyme that's found inside living cells and it serves as a master regulating switch in energy metabolism. A low level of AMP activity is associated with many health challenges, indicating the PQQ may provide clinical benefit in accelerated aging and mitochondrial insufficiency and dysfunction. In degenerative brain disorders like dementia and Parkinson's disease, chronic inflammation, obesity, high blood cholesterol and triglycerides, insulin resistance and poor blood sugar control. In regard to improving brain function, while PQQ is somewhat effective on its own, when it's combined with CoQ10, even better results have been shown. The synergistic effect was seen in animal studies and further demonstrated in human double-blind placebo-controlled clinical trials conducted in Japan in 2009. In this study of 71 middle-aged and elderly people between the age of 40 and 70, supplementation with 20 mg per day of PQQ resulted in improvements on tests of higher cognitive function compared to the placebo group. But in the group receiving 20 mg of PQQ along with 300 mg of CoQ10, the results were even more dramatic. The PQQ and the CoQ10 are both involved in mitochondrial energy production, so these results are not surprising. It's active on its own. That said, there's a couple of double-blind studies in elderly subjects taking PQQ alone, and this shows less impressive results than the studies that also had the CoQ10. So it seems for people over 50, PQQ should be taken with CoQ10. However, for most people under 35, and maybe even under 50, there might not be a need to take CoQ10, as they might be manufacturing sufficient levels, unless the person is taking a drug like a cholesterol-lowering statin that can interfere with the CoQ10 production. There are studies showing excellent results with PQQ alone in people under 35. For example, in a study in subjects between the age of 21 and 34, those who were given PQQ alone showed significant increase in measures of antioxidant activity, anti-inflammatory effects and energy production, even only after one dose. There's also studies showing good results in people over 50 who were given PQQ alone. For example, when 17 healthy, middle-aged and elderly subjects ingested 20 mg of PQQ or placebo daily for eight weeks, the results showed the PQQ significantly improved all measures of the profile of mood states, fatigue, tension, anxiety, depression, anger, hostility and confusion. In another study of PQQ alone in middle-aged and elderly subjects, improvements were also noted for drowsiness and awakening, sleep onset and maintenance, and sleep duration. And in another study of PQQ given alone, it was shown to enhance blood flow to the brain and oxygen utilization in the prefrontal cortex, the area that's active during thinking. PQQ also lowers LDL cholesterol. In another study with bio-PQQ, in test subjects with initial LDL cholesterol above 140 mg per deciliter, six weeks of PQQ supplementation at 20 mg per day produced a statistically significant decrease in the total cholesterol, falling from an average 247 to 216 mg per deciliter. One question regarding PQQ is what the effect of dose is. Specifically, if the nutritional requirements of PQQ is likely less than 500 micrograms per day, why recommend a higher dose? The current recommendation is 10 to 20 milligrams of PQQ, and this is based on the equivalent dose in animals that's consistently improved various mitochondrial functions. There's also some clinical and observational studies that justify this dose, especially the 20 milligram dose plus 300 milligrams of CoQ10 for enhancing memory. It's only a matter of time before PQQ is classified as an essential vitamin. The same is true for the likelihood that it will surpass CoQ10 in popularity. 
With PQQ, the benefits are often experienced immediately in terms of higher energy levels and greater mental clarity. To book a consultation or to learn about herbs, supplements and natural treatments, check out my website.